Good morning, good morning. Shall we start our day with a smile? Good morning children. I hope you're all doing good. Today I have come with a very, very, very interesting story from Karagi Tales. And it is Kuti and the Mouse. So let's get into the story. One day, Amma made seven korakatais. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven korakatais. And you know how she made it? She stuffed the korakatais with grated coconut, oozing jaggery, and a little cardamom. Smell was too good. She stuffed it inside the korakatai and then she steamed it and after some time the korakatai was ready. She put them all on a plate. Okay. And do you know why she made only seven korakatais? Because she had seven children. Yes. One was for Kannan. One was for Komu. One was for Kuyil. One was for Kartik, one was for Kaushi, and one was for Kumar, and one was for our little Kuti. So the last Karakata was for Kuti. And then after making all that, she kept it on a plate and she called out all her children and said, Children, listen, I'm going out. Don't eat the korakatais until I return. But will the children listen to Amma? After seeing the shiny, plumpy korakatais, will they be able to control themselves? They are waiting for Amma to go out. After Amma went out, out of the seven children, five of them crept into the kitchen slowly. And what did they do? They looked at the delicious, plumpy korakatais. Each one of them took one korakatai, popped into their mouth. Mm. The korakatai was inside their mouth. And what did they do? They didn't wash their finger. They licked their fingers and wiped it on their dress and then crept out slowly. It was so delicious. And they all went and played out happily. After that, Kumar, he crept inside the kitchen slowly. How many korakatais were left? There were two korakatais. He took one korakatai and popped into his mouth. Mm. The korakatai burst into his mouth. The coconut and the jaggery were oozing. Mmm, it was delicious. He said, mmm, it tastes so good. He wasn't able to resist. He took the next korakatai, which was meant for Kuti. Kumar quickly grabbed the next korakatai, popped into his mouth, and then he licked his finger, wiped it on his shirt, and then crept out of the kitchen. And after he went out, what happened? Suddenly the light went out and now Kuti came into the kitchen. She was searching for her share and in the dark she was just moving her hands around here and there and she found something soft and plump. Ah, I think she got hold of something. Now what happened? The Korakuta started to move and now she was shocked. She was surprised. Will the korakatai move? And suddenly when she was trying to take hold of it, her mom came inside. And now she told, Amma, will the korakatai move? And Amma was like, no, Kuti, how will the korakatai move? And now she started to touch and see what was it. She was trying to put it in her mouth. And suddenly she noticed that the korakatai had a long tail. Now she asked her Amma, Amma, will the Korakate have a long tail? Amma said, No, Kuti, what happened to you? Now she felt her Korakate had eyes, nose, ears, whiskers, and it was as soft her, as soft as her cheeks, 
and then it started to move around so she was confused and now she started to sing loudly about her korakate to her amma how did she sing my korakate has a long long tail it has teeth sharp as my nails it has a wet nose a year and a night amma is is my korakate my korakate is soft as my cheeks it has whiskers oh it squeaks it wriggles around i don't know why amma is is my korakate so now amma she was shocked what did she do she rushed into the kitchen by the time she rushed into the kitchen power came all the lights were glowing and amma was shocked to see kuti because a long string was just hanging out of kuti's mouth oh what did amma do she rushed and she caught hold of the string and she pulled it out come on let's help amma to pull the string out pull come on put both your hands and pull the string out pull pull yes and after some time a kuti mouse it popped out of her mouth oh god seeing that amma screamed ah and all the other children screamed along with her ah and now kuti started to cry my korakate ran away and then the little mouse it just ran as fast as fast as it could and it hid inside a hole and now what did amma do kuti my dear don't worry she hugged kuti and then out from her bag she took a box and it had lot of korakatais so she gave more korakatais to kuti because her korakate ran away now all the children again enjoyed the korakatais and were very happy and that's the end of the story now children i have a question for you what would you do if you see a mouse in your home just think and get back with your answers bye bye